All right, everyone. So in this tutorial, I want to give you some guidance into the world of tax preparation and what you should do when you're first starting out. One of the many questions I get asked by students is what's it like? What do I need to do to actually go out and start working in the tax world? Maybe in the, you know, get my career started in accounting and tax. What do I need? How do I get started? So what I've done is I've put this tutorial together for some guidance here as to what I think that you should do in order to build on your career and really get going and start in your career in tax preparation. And this basically, you know, mimics what I had to do way back about 20, 22 years ago uh, when I first started out. This was my action plan and this is what ultimately gave me my modern, my success in tax and accounting. So the first thing you need is experience. There is no substitute for experience, especially when it comes to taxes. You can learn all the theory you want. You can even take the Income Tax Act and by some miracle memorize it from, from the first page to the last page. You can have those three or four thousand pages, whatever it is. You can know them inside out in terms of the theory. But if you've never applied them in practice, you're not going to be successful. So that is crucial. You should always try to combine education and theory with the practical side. So that's ideally how you build up the confidence actually to prepare tax returns. A lot of students out there come to me and they ask me questions privately in the forum saying, you know, I'm very stressed out because I'm working in a firm and I, you know, I just can't put things together. I start sweating when I speak to clients. I don't know how to reply and, you know, communicate with other people that I work with. Well, it's very important that you get that experience because you will gain that confidence when you gain experience. I would suggest you try to get into a firm that has a wide range of tax returns. So typically, I would suggest if at all possible, if you can work in an accounting firm, that would be ideal because accounting firms see tax returns from all you know, all shapes and sizes of tax returns. You're going to get the very basic tax returns and you're going to get some of the more complicated tax returns for maybe some small business owners or for some serious investors with properties and so forth. Getting experience in, account in an accounting firm is ideal. It's not very easy to get in, unfortunately. But hey, if you get a job at the local H&R Block or the Softron or any of those other tax preparation firms out there, that is fantastic as well. Just be aware that sometimes those firms there deal with the more simple tax returns. So it's a great way to get started. Get in on the ground floor with these tax preparation firms. And then if you really want to build your career in tax uh, preparation, then you can move up to the accounting firms, maybe when you've had some additional experience. One thing I always recommend is to get a mentor. A mentor is the best possible thing you can have, somebody who has a number of years of experience, somebody who's willing to train somebody, who's willing to teach them. A lot of times out in the accounting world and in the tax preparation world, you will find people that are willing to help you out, to teach you, because they feel that you might be able to join their firm, join their business, and become a vital asset. Because during tax season, there is nothing better than having an experienced tax preparer that can prepare tax returns from start to finish. So definitely get a mentor. And when you do, if you're working somewhere, ask for the more difficult files. And when you do ask for those difficult files, make sure that the mentor is teaching you. I mean, that's the definition of a mentor anyway, someone who's willing to hold you by the hand and help you grow and help you learn. I used to work in an accounting firm where, you know, the firm used to give me tax files to work on. I would sit there and put stuff and then give it back to one of the partners or the managers, and they never gave me any feedback. They would just correct any mistakes that I had made, and I never really heard back on those files, and that really wasn't a learning experience for me. I felt like I was more of a data input person. Now, being a data input person, hey, you know, starting off, that's fine. At least you get some exposure, but it's critical to get that feedback where you might take a difficult tax file, work on it, give it to somebody to review, and then they come back at you with you know, the mistakes that you've made, or maybe a different way of approaching things, maybe some additional tax planning. Maybe they found a better way that saved the client money and they can teach you that. So if you have a good mentor, if you have a good support system, wherever you work, that is ideal. 
And finally, people ask me, Ian, how do I get a job at an accounting firm or at the local H&R Block? You know what? I realize it is very difficult. When I was starting out, I had the same thing. Nobody would hire me. None of the accounting firms were hiring me because there were so many students getting into accounting. During tax season, if we were already in February or March, none of the accounting firms or the tax preparation firms would want to hire students as well because, you know, they didn't want to take the time to teach them. The best thing you can do is volunteer your time. At that time, what I did was I decided to bite the bullet and say, hey, you know what? I am just going to volunteer for this tax season. I don't care if I'm going to come in and make photocopies or just do data entry. I don't care if I have to go out and get coffee and bagels for the staff. As long as I get some exposure in a firm where I can see what's going on, hear what's going on, and get at least some exposure to taxes. Now, I realize this might not be ideal for some of you or even possible if you have families and you can't volunteer your time. Absolutely, I get it. But if you do have that luxury, if you can speak to your family members, your spouse, and just say, hey, you know what, I want to take, you know, the next two, three months here and just volunteer, even in the evenings, for example, after your job. Ideally, you can get a job, but if you can't, try volunteering. That's basically what I did. And how did it end up for me? Well, I volunteered for about three months. Uh, Once I the tax season was over, the accountant that I worked with offered me a job at the firm. And to take it even one step further, a couple of years later, I ended up buying his practice. So it just goes to show you what experience can get you and what that volunteer could ultimately give rise to. What's great about being a volunteer is it's lower pressure. You don't really have to worry about the high stress environment of the tax return season because you're a, you're a volunteer. You're not really paid to do things there. You're really there to help people out. And a lot of times the firms won't actually have you deal directly with the customers or the clients. And if you if you do, it'll be at a very basic or general level where you're just basically calling and maybe asking for slips or for some reports and so forth. So it's great because you get into the tax world in a lower pressure environment. Tax season sometimes, if you're an employee, it could involve lots of hours and lots of times I'm telling you it can be a pressure cooker and you know when you're first starting out that pressure cooker can really burn you and you might get the wrong idea as to how tax season is because obviously the more experience you have tax season becomes a lot easier and you know even if you're volunteering as I mentioned in the previous uh, slide here just ask for responsibilities don't be the person that goes out and get the coffee and the bagels and orders the uh, the dinner for those late nights you know, ask for a tax file, say, hey, you know, can I have some easy ones where I can just enter the data? You know, just get a feel for the taxes and make sure that whoever you're volunteering for knows that you're there to get that tax education and you're very, very keen and very eager to help out in any which way you can. So that's basically it, folks. If you take this success action plan here, I think you will really put yourself on the road to success. It's very difficult to get your foot in the door into some firms. I realize that. I hope some of these tips that I gave you uh, come in handy. Don't fall to the high pressure. Don't give way to that anxiety during tax season. Start off slow and build. Learn every day. Get some experience. And ultimately, I can guarantee you, like anything else, if you put in the time, if you put in the effort, you will easily become a tax professional.